guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to make slope detector on scratch and i'm going to show you how it works so i should like take this and drag it on top of this hill and when i leave it it like it detects the slope and it will just slide down and now let's make it So now I'm going to just delete this cat and add a new sprite. So this is going to be the box which is going to slide down the hill. So I'll just draw one nice square and place it in the center like this. And now let's make the slope. So again I'll paint the sprite. and make a rectangle in black color that make a little smaller yeah like this and now turn it like this how much ever you want it yeah like this now duplicate this now make it more tilted and the last costume make it more tilted like that so we have three different costumes so now let's do the code so when the green flag is clicked the sprite should go over here and make a clone now put it a little Till it down here, there, and now I will go to looks and switch costume to the first costume, which is it, this one, this costume, and now you go to this position and make a clone. So I'll just duplicate this now. Now make it costume two. I'll just make it like this, and now I'll just take this and keep that in position. Also, leave some ga gap a gap after this. If if you keep if you did not keep a gap like this, so when the sprite is like going down here, some kind of like something will happen in this middle play position. It'll like do some kind of spinning things. So just leave some distance. from here to here yeah this might be good for the cube to reach so okay it's a little big so i'll just change the size to a 70 because it's too big yeah we'll take this and place it over Also, the square has another square here. This thing I'll delete it. Okay. So now, here, I will set the position and create the clone. And now, do the same for the third slope. So, duplicate this. Keep this aside. Change the costume three and yeah. Now put that here. Um, somewhere here. Okay. So now I'll set the position and then create a clone of myself. There. Now this will make the slope. So. Here it's like this. So, if you want, you can like go to the background and just wherever this gap is, there you can like just simply fill black because this doesn't look good to make it look like a mountain. I will just make slopes here so that it covers the 
for it a second time. I'll put the salty more here. And a trunk here. There's the spark. Yeah, that looks good. And I'll take that paint option and paint line to here. Now like that, and left, and I'll do a little erasing here. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. And now you can just simply fill this empty space. Gap here. There, now it looks like a mountain. Go back to code. Now let's code this guy. So, first I'll just put him in draggable mode. So, when the green flag is clicked, simply just go to sensing and just set, set drag mode to draggable. So this function makes it like drag it in a full screen mode. If you like disconnect it, you can't drag it from here. That's it. Okay. So now let's make this guy like when it's touching these it should like tilt. So here I should like I'll just leave this button. Okay, so Take, not, not a green flag option, take when I start as a clone, it should like, if, the costume number, One, which means if it's the first costume here, just place the cube here, and now you can just use this place to set up the thing. Okay, now this is uh, yeah, that's that's okay for me. Now, back in here. I'll just like broadcast a message. So what's this? okay? It should be sixty. So I'll just like broadcast the degree number so that it will be easy to like see which message is which degrees. Now, also one more thing I forgot here is that only if it is touching this right. So I'll go to this and change it to yeah, like this. And now duplicate this one more time and do the same thing for sprite. And I'll put this cube here. Set the degrees. Yeah, that's perfect. 41. Yeah, message. 41. Okay. Now the third one. Duplicate. And three. Wait, I forgot to check the degrees. So 
Pascal Kipis Gaiyo. And now, then, 29. So it will be 29. Okay, so now that's complete. And also, one more thing that you have to keep a forever block around the whole thing. Now let's call this guy. At the side, I'll just go and when I receive this message, I'll duplicate this message and this message. <laughs> just simply set direction to 29 here. Forty one here and sixty five. I mean, not sixty five, sixty eight. So, all of these guys can go at the side. Also, we have to make the gravity for this cube. So, forever if If uh, not touching sprite two or the color black, whatever you color you kept for this hill. So I'm going to take this color and take black and now here just I'll just simply keep <coughs> a set um, not a set a change y by minus 5 Okay, so you can see the gravity. Yeah, the gravity is working well. Okay. Okay. Now, one thing. It won't look realistic if this cube is just simply sitting here. So, to make it realistic, I'll just simply move it three steps for everything like that wait yeah one more thing to give it minus make it go the other way <laughs> yeah now it will go the other way there and reach the end Okay, so now there's a small problem. I, well, okay, wait a second. Oh, it's okay, that's okay. Okay, yeah, and stop there. And I can grab this guy and put it back here. And that is going, and that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon.